was already a great success and people said well our kids and we used to hate English and now our kids love English but still hate maths why can't you teach the maths in the same fun way that you teach English and I said you know what maths is a language too mathematics is a language and just as once upon a time before Helen Drawn English came around the only way of teaching English was to start at a later age in school with books and nobody taught spoken English. I said, well, we're doing the same with maths. Maths is a language. And instead of teaching children about the language of maths and the world around them, they're sitting them down with books and trying to teach them formulae. That's not maths. It's how to explain the natural world on, in formulas, but in formulae, if you want. It's how to explain the natural world in formulae, but why not teach them about the natural world? So we created lessons which are specially formulated. Every single lesson has a task, a hands-on task. The children do this fun, hands-on task, whether it's about weights, whether it's about fractions, whether it's about symmetry, whatever it is, there's a real task. It's created with props and downloads. And at the end of this task, they need to turn to each other and, and tell each other what they've done. So here we have leadership skills. Number one, they're analysing what they're doing. Number two, they're expressing it in words. And then we sit them down to do these specially formulated math writers books. And in these books, they are doing on paper what they've done hands on. And every single lesson is like this from age two to age 11. This is what they're all like. Already in, in secondary school, they're doing it slightly differently. In secondary school, they start with a problem that they all do together. Then they have individualized learning in books that they're doing according to what they specifically need to be doing. And they'll end the lesson with another problem that they will solve as a group. The very younger children are learning the real language to begin with, just as they would do in English. Just as there's a window of opportunity for learning language up to the age of six and then again to a certain extent up to the age of 11, the same for maths. And we need to use it. And we've created a fun environment. A math writer's lesson has these hands-on activities, these interesting and fun workbooks to translate what it is that they've already worked out for themselves. We have games. We have songs, special mathematical songs. We have stories about maths, whether it's a mathematical concept, whether it's a history of math, whether it's a great mathematician, men and women, of course, we have stories. So they have a whole environment of maths. They live maths in these lessons. This is different from anything anyone else is doing. It is unique and the kids come out loving it. We have exciting business opportunities for national and for master franchisees worldwide. It's an established franchise, it works beautifully. We're looking for like-minded franchisees who love education, who want the very, very best educational opportunity for the children of their country and want to bring it to their country. If the country is not a native English speaking country, it will probably be taught in the mother tongue in that country and we'll welcome you to see if you're the right master or national franchisee to work with Math Riders. Okay.